Welcome at Octopus. This is our tutorial for refilling the inkjet cartridges Canon PGI 580 and CLI 581 without using a chip resetter. Our laboratory for inkjet inks, the Octopus Fluids, has completed the research and development of the suitable refill inks finally. We are really proud that we are able to provide a solution for the brand new Photo Blue Ink 2. Beside dealing with filling new ink into the empty cartridges, our tutorial also includes how to handle the different messages related to the ink level status. Please open the printer's upper lid to be able to remove the cartridges from the printer for refilling. The printed compartment containing the six single ink tank cartridges moves into the position for exchanging the cartridges. And there, one after the other, the Canon cartridges can be taken out from the printer. The method shown in this tutorial enables you to refill your PGI 580 and CLI 581 at any time that is convenient to you. At the cartridge bottom side, there are two relevant structures. First one is the cartridge chip and the second is the ink port. In the ink port opening, you can see the ink storing sponge material. The most simple way to refill these cartridges is to drip refill ink on the ink sponge. From Octopus you can order ink sets that consists either of 5 inks or 6 inks including the photo blue color. The refill method used in this tutorial saturates the ink sponge behind the ink port only. That means dripping ink on the sponge does not refill the rear ink tanks of XL cartridges. The quantity of refill ink that actually fits into an empty cartridge depends on the amount of residual ink in the sponge. For the CLI 581 cartridges, we recommend to take between 4 to 5 milliliters into the refill syringe. For the big Canon PGI 580 cartridge, you can take 8 to 10 milliliters into the syringe. The refill ink dripped onto the sponge is absorbed instantly. The more the sponge gets saturated with ink, the slower the refill ink is absorbed from the ink port. When the refill ink remains on the sponge surface for a while, this indicates that the sponge is full or will be soon. Please position the cartridge on a piece of kitchen towel during the whole refill process. It does not happen every time, but when plentiful ink is dripped on the sponge, it might happen that ink comes out of the airport on the cartridge's upper side. When the desired amount of ink has been filled, we make sure that the sponge is not overfilled. Therefore, we let the kitchen towel absorb the excess ink and check that the sponge is not leaking ink when the ink port points straight downwards. Refilling the other ink colors follows the same scheme as we have demonstrated with our yellow CLI 581 Canon cartridge. In the beginning of our tutorial we already say that we are not going to use a chip resetter with the refill method. Due to this the refilled original Canon cartridge shows the same ink level status as before refilling. In the case of our refilled yellow CLI 581 cartridge, this means that it still has the status ink probably depleted or soon depleted. But with this status you can still keep printing for quite a while. The first ink level related warning message that you receive for a Canon PGI 580 or CLI 581 inkjet cartridge is low ink level. On the display the symbol for this is a yellow circle with an exclamation mark. After continued printing we also received the warning message ink may be depleted or depleted soon for our cyan cartridge. And some printing later there is a hard stop finally. It is for our refilled yellow cartridge CLI 581. The message says that the cartridge is empty. But still not a problem as long you are using original Canon cartridges. We took our refilled cartridge out of the printer and have set it back. Following the instructions on the display, we confirm with no that we have not bought this cartridge as a new original cartridge. Now, in the next step, we have the option to deactivate the ink level for the refilled CLI 581. Therefore, we confirm by pressing OK. 
when working with the cheap alternative cartridges, you may not have the option for deactivating the ink level control. So unfortunately, in most cases, alternative cartridges are good for one printing cycle only. The final step to deactivate the ink level is to press the stop button for 5 seconds. On the display you can read that Canon will not be liable for any damage caused by the use of refilled cartridges. Deactivating the ink level control means that you will not receive a warning message for the ink inside this cartridge anymore. You are responsible for making sure that there is sufficient ink available for printing inside the cartridge. On the printer's display you can see that our yellow CLI581 is shown with an empty white box. There is no indication anymore for how much ink is left in this cartridge. Deactivating the ink level control is not permanent forever. As soon as you set a new cartridge with a new chip into the printer, the ink level status display will be active again. You are going to receive the warning messages in the usual order for this new cartridge. And here we are. This is the end of our tutorial for refilling the original Canon PGI 580 and CLI 581 with suitable refill inks and with limited refill tools. The Octopus Fluids inks you can find in the description below this video and in the info points in the upper right corner. Thank you very much for your time and thank you very much for watching. We are looking forward to your comments and questions. In case you would like to give us a positive rating, we appreciate if you give us a thumbs up.